much for the invitation to your session. I was so thrilled and I'm so glad to be here. Yes, my name is Isabel. I um, am a storyteller, a harpist. Occasionally I sing songs and um, I'm so happy to tell you a story and play you a tune tonight. I was going to tell you a different story, but since you um, mentioned that this session is in the spirit of Samhain, in the spirit of Halloween, I thought, well, I want to share with you a story from the region where I live. It's a bit of a spooky story. So if you have a hand that you can grab nearby, which will hopefully still be attached to a body, um, do so. <laughs> So I come from Zug, which is a small town in the heart of Switzerland. It's um, between a lake and a mountain. And the other side of the lake has been haunted by a witch for centuries. And this witch fetches children. She steals children. She will steal all the children who don't obey their mothers, or so the mothers tell their children. Now, many, many years ago, there was a woman, a farmer's wife, and she had a daughter, and that daughter was beautiful as a picture. And her most splendid feature was her long golden hair. It was golden like sunlight. And that child, that girl, she loved to sit in front of a mirror and just brush her golden hair. And she would hmm, and she would ha at her reflection. And whenever her mother said, child, come and help me in the kitchen, she would just hmm, and ha, and keep on brushing her hair. Now one day, her mother's patience ran out and she said, child, come and help me in the garden or else the witch will get you. But the girl, she just hmm, kept on brushing her hair. Now, the mother's patience really had run out. So she went to the farmhand and she said, listen, tonight we'll give my daughter a good scare. Tonight, when she sits in front of her mirror and brushes her hair, you will knock at the window and I will grab her and I will shove her out and say, now the witch came and got you. And you will drag her to the barn and that will teach her a lesson. And the farmhand agreed. And so the farmer's wife, she went about her day. And when the evening time came and she lit the fire and she lit all the candles, her daughter was sitting once more in front of the mirror, brushing her long golden hair, when all of a sudden the knock came on the window and the mother said, well, didn't I tell you the witch will come and get you? And the girl, she was shocked, but the mother, she grabbed her by the shoulders and she opened the window and two long hands reached in and the mother, she shoved out her child and closed the window. And she could hear the daughter screaming and wailing and screaming and wailing. And then it was silent. And the farmer's wife, she was just about to leave the room when again, there came a knock on the window. She was confused. She opened the window and there was the farmhand. And she said, what are you doing here? And she said, well, didn't we agree to play a trick on your daughter? And she said, what, but he only just came. And in this stunned silence, there was a long, high pitched scream from the forest. And the farmer's wife, she hitched up her skirts. She leapt out the window and she ran towards the forest looking for her child. She called out her name and she looked here and there and everywhere. She searched all night. But her child was nowhere to be found. And when morning came, when the first rays of sunlight crept above the horizon, 
she passed by a bush and on that bush hung the long golden hair of her child but the child was never seen again. Thank you.